In 2009, Justin and I decided to go on a five-day backpacking trip in Desolation Wilderness. Of course, we forgot to plan for snow in summer and mosquitoes, but those were just the small details. <laughs> oh, it just bite me in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Ouch. <laughs> okay, okay, back to the story now. So we decided on this trip to climb up to a high pass known as Dick's Pass, and when we got to the top, we saw a very skinny man with a big red beard. He told us he was through hiking, which means he was hiking the entire Pacific Crest Trail, 2,663 miles from Mexico to Canada. My eyes widened as I started to smile and looked over at Justin who was smiling back at me. Right then and there we both knew we were hiking the trail in 2010. Why through hike? A question we have been asked countless times since getting off the trail. For Justin and I, there were three main reasons why we wanted to hike the entire Pacific Crest Trail. One, to step away from the monotonous routines of society to conquer an extraordinary feat. Reason number two, the ability to eat as much food as you want and still lose weight due to the long days of hiking. I crave cheeseburgers, fries, and pickles. And Justin, chocolate chip cookies and ice cream. And lastly, reason three, to raise money and scholarship funds for outdoor education so children from low-income families have the chance to attend these life-changing programs. Neat to see them working together. The whole thing. I love it. While we were successful in accomplishing our goals, what was incomprehensible to us prior to hiking are the many lessons the Pacific Crest Trail would teach us. Ready to rock? I've been chasing after her for about the last hour and some change as we climb about a couple thousand vertical feet here. Across and uh, and Melissa just made it across this fucking park. <laughs> this is what we would have had to walk through. C'est ton Manhattan fast food Dakar, Sénégal, cinéma, le Paris. Demain je serai parti. La gare Dakar, pas ma peau, morti. <laughs> One of the most difficult fords we've had yet. His 
is our buck friend who's been following us on our ascent to Half Dome. Oh, I think he's finally done. That's some good stuff to chew on. Really impressive reading it. He's found a sunflower shell. All right, here we are. We just glissaded down this hill. It's nine o'clock in the morning, the second of July. We just came up this ridge line. We're looking out towards Sonora Pass. What he means is, we really just went straight up this mountain. Hey, I just wanted to introduce you to my feet. This is Purse. I've had her a long time, almost, gosh, almost three weeks. This is Maggie, and I've had Maggie for five weeks. Oh. How you doing? Oh. <laughs> How you doing? It hurts so bad. We just crossed Evolution oh. Creek here. Obviously, quite a bit of snow melt means pretty chilly water. Good. out here. <laughs> Why is it so cold? Mr. Swift? It's so windy. <laughs> this is not the Mojave <laughs> Desert I was planning on. And it feels like I'm getting pelted with golf balls as I brush up against a tent. It's, this is quite an adventure here. Almost five o'clock in the afternoon. It went from very warm to very cold very quickly. <laughs> Great. Oh. These are bigger than the Tahoe was. Ouch. Oh. Here's Buckeye cliffhanger. And that's what we're looking at. It's Mount Rainier right there. Out in this direction. We have Mount Adams. Done for the day and hopefully tomorrow. There's a little thing we like to call sunshine. Every morning has a story. All right. So if you look over here, whoa, there's my finger. That's Mount St. Helens. From way out in the distance. It's like right here. It's really easy for us to see, but I don't think the camera can pick it up. That's Mount Rainier. Looks closer than we were expecting it to, which is crazy. And then right there is Mount Adams. Behind us now is Mount Hood. So that's a good morning. Enjoying the view. And Eating Snickers a, for and, breakfast. And Snickers for breakfast. On the trail, you meet many who selflessly help you reach your goals. No one is a stranger, but rather simply a friend you have yet to meet. Thank you to each and every angel we met along the trail for renewing our faith in the beauty of humanity.
dark Girl, I've never loved one like you Boats and boats and waterfalls Alleyways and payphone calls I've been everywhere with hey, you That's true <laughs> Left until we think we're down Barefoot on the summer night Probably one of our final creek crossings here. It's the Seattle River. About 27 miles out of Stahican, Washington, our last town stop. It's been a great day. Well done.
Those, my friends, are Canadian mountains. So the question that always usually follows, why through hike, is, so what's next? Exactly how much we'll have to burn before we will look to the past to learn. We walk along this endless path, which has led us in a circle, so here we are right back. We can't let the future become our past if we are to change the world. Won't you tell me, tell me please, how many miles must we march? Oh, how many miles must we march? When I was a baby, I was not prejudiced. Yeah, ice cream would be really good. 